Here's an English-speaking evaluation I gave to another fantastic Master English Conversation subscriber. Listen carefully and comment down below the video if there's anything you'd like to know more about how to improve. Enjoy! I'm so excited to welcome you to Master English Conversation. It's uh, a great honor to be teaching you and I'm really happy you chose me as a teacher. I won't let you down. All right, well, let's get into helping you improve with a quick speaking evaluation of what you gave in your audio. All right, so first of all, coming from a Chinese accent, I can definitely hear that in your voice. And one of the things that will help you improve and build your confidence is to make the flow of your English sound more native. Now, this is the thing that's really impressive to people. It's not really having perfect pronunciation, but sounding less like you, you can't really tell where the person is coming from. I know this is kind of a tricky thing to understand, but your pronunciation doesn't need to be perfect, but it should be kind of difficult for people to tell if you're coming from China or from Brazil or from something like that if they just hear your voice. So I can clearly hear from your voice, from the flow of your English that you're coming from China. It's a Chinese way of pronouncing English, but I'd say you're about 80% of the way to having a really nice sounding accent. So congratulations about that, and I'll give you some tips about how you can improve that in this audio for you specifically. All right, so for thinking about the flow of your language, and again, this is how the individual words of your sentences flow together, and then this is how you have conversations in general. The best way to improve your flow is by listening to the real conversation lessons and listening to them over and over and over again. If you just want to take a certain section, maybe one minute or even something like 10 minutes of just one conversation and listen to it over and over again and really try to mimic, try to copy the sounds that are being said in the conversation. There are lots of different speakers you can listen to and then try to create an English accent for yourself that's a little bit different from using the Chinese flow of your language and make it sound much more native. Also, you can begin recording your own voice just for yourself. Like maybe today you do a recording of yourself saying something like introducing yourself and saying how old you are. And then every month or every week, however often you'd like to improve and really focus on that, record the same thing again and you can hear the differences. You can hear how your pronunciation is improving and then you'll be a lot better uh, at being able to know the flow you should be working for. The flow of your English is really important for building confidence, but also for getting respect from the people you're speaking with. If you can have that really nice flow, even if you don't sound like a native speaker, um, but if you can learn how to blend your sounds properly, that's really going to be impressive to people, uh, and it's really going to make you more excited to learn. So again, uh, start recording your voice, listen to me speaking right now, and listen to me uh, and other speakers, especially in the native conversation, because we're talking naturally. You can do the same thing with movies, just watch a movie you like, or a YouTube video, anything like that, and just pick maybe 10 seconds and repeat it over and over and over again, so you can hear how the words blend together to make sounds. All right, the next thing to work on is basic grammar. Make sure that you're focusing on your basic grammar and getting that working really nicely. Use the time traveling lessons that we have for that so you can improve your basic grammar. And you can really, anytime you hear somebody make a sentence, like let's say somebody says, yesterday I went to Africa, then you can change that in your head to tomorrow I will go. To Africa and you don't have to hear the same sentence but you can take any sentence you hear and then you can practice saying that in different ways with different voices in your own head or you can speak out loud and then you can change the grammar tense of that just to practice to get your basic grammar down in the future with master English conversation we will have new kinds of lessons that will actually be able to focus on that and teach you grammar more specifically but there are plenty of chances for you to practice that and improve your basic grammar now so if you improve your flow and you work on your basic grammar you're going to have uh, a much better chance of building your confidence and being much more excited to practice.
The last thing that you need to work on because you are coming from a Chinese accent is the pronunciation of specific sounds. And this is just something that you need to go over uh, and work on. But like I get from many people that send in audios uh, and many non-native speakers that I hear when I'm teaching, you make the same sound correctly in some words and you don't make that sound correctly in others. It's just a way that you learn the language and it's just something that you can practice. But you definitely have great pronunciation. You just need to move that pronunciation from good words to words that you need to improve. So the first thing, uh, just one example, is the word much, like thank you very much. And I'm making a very uh, uh, uh sound, like bus and tub, that kind of sound. So thank you very much. And it's just something that you'll have to practice. You can listen to this over and over again. Your pronunciation was more like match match with a kind of an ah sound instead of an uh sound much also the th sound and this is very common from asian speakers of english this is the th like think so all you have to do practice biting your tongue and just blowing air out your mouth thanks thanks you can practice that sound and just say thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you over and over again you can say it slowly Thank you. Thank you. And you can combine them together. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Just take your time to practice individual sounds like that. And then as you work on your basic grammar and the flow of your language, you will really start to see fantastic improvement. Have an amazing day. You've got over a year of fantastic lessons you can practice with. And I look forward to hearing from you and to hearing about the successes you're making with your English. Bye-bye.